Shriram Sharma, the 20th of September 1911 to the 2nd of June 1990, was a social reformer, a philosopher, and founder of All World Gayatri Parivar, which has its headquarters at Shanti Kunj, Haridwar, India. He is known as Pandit Shriram Sharma Acharya by the members of the Gayatri Parivar. He pioneered the revival of spirituality and creative integration of the modern and ancient sciences and religion. Birth and early life Pandit Shriram Sharma Acharya was born on 20 September 1911, to Pandit Rup Kishore Sharma and Mata Dan Kunwari Devi in Anwarkata village, near Agra in Uttar Pradesh, India. His father Rup Kishore Sharma was a scholar of the Bhagavata Purana also known as the Srimad Bhagavatam and he travelled widely to give religious discourses on the Bhagavatam. Rup Kishore was also the classmate and close associate of Indian educationist, Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya who founded the Banaras Hindu University. Later, when Shriram became eight years of age, Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya solemnized Shriram's sacred thread ceremony and initiated him in the Gayatri Mantra. Shriram completed his elementary education from the primary school in his village, and his father taught him Sanskrit grammar on the basis of Lagu Kalmudi and Siddhanta Kalmudi. Travelling with his father, as the latter visited various princes and maharajas, and listening to his father impart religious discourses in their courts, Shriram achieved proficiency in the Bhagavata Purana too. Shriram visited the Himalayas four times for higher spiritual attainments and took active part in Indian freedom movement and was sent to jail three times. In 1943, he married Bhagavati Devi Sharma, who assisted her husband in running the Gayatri Parivar and took over its running upon his death in 1991. <laughs> First meeting with his guru According to Shriram Sharma when he was 15 years of age, his guru Srasaveshwarananda, a yogi who resided in an astral body, suddenly appeared before him. Describing this encounter Shriram writes, It was the day of Basant Panchami Pava. While I was engrossed in worship in my room during the small hours of the morning Brahma I saw an aura of light. An astral body of a yogi emerged in the middle of that aura of light. It was astral in the sense that his figure was visible although it was hanging in empty space with an envelope of light all around it. I was wondering as to who he was. The apparition said, I have been linked with you and have been guiding you during your past several lives. Probably you have no recollection of your past lives and so you are frightened and amazed. See the events of your past birth and remove your doubts. His grace descended on me and I had a cinematographic view of actual events of my several past births. The figure who was enveloped by an aura of light further said, "...these are critical times and there are great chances of mankind being grievously harmed and overwhelmed by the forces of darkness. I want to make you a medium to help solve the problems bedeviling humanity. It is for this purpose that I have come to you." On that day, I wholeheartedly and completely surrendered myself to Gurudev. The instructions that Gurudev gave that day were I, performance of 24 Mahapuraskaranas of Gayatri in 24 years, I, I installation of an uninterruptedly lighted lamp Akan Deep, and I, 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 visiting his retreat in the Himalayas four times as per his calls, and living there for intensive spiritual pursuits sadhana under his direct guidance. All these instructions have been followed throughout my life and all that has been accomplished in my life is the result of Gurudev's grace. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Participation in Indian Freedom Movement. Fellow freedom fighters nicknamed him Mata. The intoxicated, obsessed, completely devoted to the idea of a free India on account of his dedication and devotion. Much of his writing and poetry were published in the Hindi newspaper Sainik Soldier under the nickname of Mata. He was arrested for breaking prohibitory orders in April 1931 in Agra but released shortly afterwards. 
Undeterred, he announced a flag procession in the village of Paraki near his home village of Wakara. The government again issued prohibitory orders and the police force attacked the procession with batons. Shriram was struck unconscious and carried to a nearby hospital. In 1933, he left for Kolkata to attend the Rashtriya Adhivation national meeting of Congress, but was arrested and sent to a Sansal jail with other national leaders such as Mahamana Madan Mohan Malaviya, Swaruparani Nehru, Devdas Gandhi, Rafi Ahmad Kidwai etc. The yearning for literature To help people, his aim was to diagnose the root cause of the ailing state of the world today and enable the upliftment of society. He recognized the crisis of faith, people's ignorance of the powers of the inner self, and the lack of righteous attitude and conduct. Realizing the potential of inspirational literature and its importance in sparking an intellectual evolution, he had chosen writing as the principal mode towards uprooting the evil tendencies and blind faith from people's minds and replacing it with wisdom, strength and spiritual bliss. Pandit Shriram Sharma Acharya initiated the movement of Vichharkranti thought revolution with the very first issue of Akhand Jodi. By 1960, he had compiled and translated the four Vedas, 108 Upanishads, six Darshanas, 18 Puranas, Yogavajishtha and various Aranyakas and Brahmanas with lucid commentaries to enable the masses to understand the knowledge contained in them. The translation was also aimed at eliminating misconceptions, superstitions and blind customs, which were propagated in the medieval era by misinterpretations of the Vedas and other scriptures. This contribution to the world of knowledge and human culture was highly acclaimed and appreciated by scholars like Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, Acharya Vinoba Bhav. The distinguished title of Vedmurti was conferred upon him in its recognition, understanding the modern day psychology of the people, and recognizing the non relevance, in the present times, of the mythical characters and the background of life depicted in the Puranas. He wrote, Pragya Purana in the narrative and conversational style of the ancient Puranas to preach the eternal principles of happy, progressive and ideal life with practical guidance relevant to the modern age. He wrote many books on almost all aspects of human life, whether it be the elucidation of the esoteric aspects of the subtle science of spirituality, research directions on brain and consciousness, discussions on child psychology and family institutions, guidelines on mental, emotional and physical health, and cheerful attitude in daily life. His discourses manifested a similar sense of eloquence. The simplicity of language in his orations and his ability to establish a rapport with the audience is said to have had a hypnotizing effect on the listener's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Establishment of Shanti Kunjan Brahmavashas According to the pressing need of the modern times, he established Shantikunj in Haridwar, as a spiritual center for implementing the teachings of different rishis. He also established the Brahmavashas Research Institute in Haridwar, a center for intercommunion of science and spirituality, where interrelation between these two aspects is studied. The prime aim of setting up this institute is to establish the ancient Indian yogic philosophy as the science and art of living. Akariyaji pioneered the resurrection of the Rishi culture by a simultaneous renaissance and expansion of the reformative and constructive endeavors of the leading Rishis of the Vedic age. He reviewed the immortal contributions of the divine culture of India to the rest of the world and endeavoured for nurturing and re-establishing the foundational elements of the Indian culture and the roots of its divine nature in new scientific light through several activities of the Gayatri Parawar. As a part of his intensive study of the Indian culture and religious philosophy, he rediscovered the sociological and psychological importance of pilgrimage. He taught how the ancient glory and the real purpose of the tithas sacred places of pilgrimage could be revived in the present times for the welfare of the masses. Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyalaya the Divine Culture University inaugurated in 2002 posthumously, under the auspices of Shantikunj is an instrument for the revival of the divine Indian culture as per his vision. Topic. 
The dawn of the new era During 1984 to 1986, he carried out the unique spiritual experiment of Sukshmikarana, meaning sublimation of vital force and physical, mental and spiritual energies. He authored a special set of 40 books termed revolutionary literature or Krantidami Sahitya highlighting the future of the world and conveying the message of the dawn of the new era of truth during the 21st century. The formation of Ugrishi Shriram Sharma Acharya Charitable Trust With ideals and teachings of Pandit G, the Yugrishishriram Sharma Acharya Charitable Trust registration no. 4981 was formed in 2004 initially to work for the welfare of the poor and downtrodden in Bihar as the state had always been a laggard on all aspects of human well-being. The trust was formed by Sri Ramesh Chandra Shukla 1917, a social reformer of the 20th century and a disciple of Pandit Shriram Sharma Acharya. The trust has a purpose-driven approach with an uncompromising attitude towards values and beliefs. The primary source of such values and beliefs are the three pillars of spiritual, purposeful life upasana, sadhana and, aradhana and the seven areas of evolutionary development for a better world as preached and clarified by Pandit Shriram Sharma Acharya. The trust works on the seven areas of evolutionary development health, education, awakening of women, environment, eliminating social evils, entrepreneurship and promoting spirituality. The underlying purpose of the trust has been to improve the quality of life of people so that their activities will finally help people to overcome social, economic and psychological barriers and usher positive change. With this theory of change in mind the trust started the Akan Jyoti Eye Hospital in December 2005 at village Mastishik, 60 km away from the capital city of Patna. Akan Jyoti Eye Hospital was founded by Mr. Maratunjay Tawari grandson of Sri Ramesh Chandra Shukla as part of his spiritual awakening process which happened through a chance visit to Bihar his parental roots are in Bihar wherein he witnessed a father selling off his girl child for a mere 1,500 rupees. Maratunjay till then was an urban businessman and his world view was through his business insight. This incident shook him, and he realized that his world was nowhere close to reality. People in low-income regions of India lives in extreme poverty. Lack of education among the masses compounds the problem and the poor are treated as the downtrodden. Thereafter the trust resolved to only work in the low-income geographies of India. Today, Akan Jyoti I Hospital, a unit of Ugrishi Shriram Sharma Acharya Charitable Trust works to eradicate curable blindness from low-income regions of India by providing affordable, accessible, sustainable, quality curative and preventive eye care services, and empower rural girls, women to achieve this. <laughs> Selected works What Am I? Translated 2008 Original Hindi edition 1940. The Absolute Law of Karma, revised 2003 The Extrasensory Potentials of Mind The Great Moments of Change Problems of Today, Solutions for Tomorrow, translated 2000 The Life Beyond Physical Death, translated 1999 Sleep, Dreams and Spiritual Reflections the Super Science of Gayatri, translated 2000. Gayatri Sadhana, The Truth and Distortions, 2000. Revival of Satyug, The Golden Age, 2000. Topic: <inaudible> Biographies. <inaudible> Himari Vasiat A U R V R Z A, Autobiography in Hindi. My Life, Its Legacy and Message, English translation of autobiography Chetna Ki Shikha Yatra, biography in Hindi by Dr. Pranav Pandya and Jyoti May Vedmurti Taponist P.T., Shriram Sharma Acharya, biography of Shriram Sharma Acharya in Maithili by Banod Bihari Verma, 2005. Bhubaneswar